Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class. Let's see who do we have here. Vamos a ver a quién tenemos por acá. We're going to start. Vamos a ver si podemos comenzar. I know the weather is kind of complicated because of the signal, uh, because of the rain sound. But we're going to uh, complete this class. And remember, after this class, we're going to be on vacations. That's really, but really positive. So let's see what we have here. Vamos a ver quién tenemos por acá. So, um, let's see here if we can have some of you. Maybe let's try the audio. And maybe Daniel, are you there? Está por ahí? Hi, teacher. Hello, everything okay? No problem mm. for tonight? Yeah, no problem. Okay, excellent. Uh, here we have also Rosalie. Hi, Rosalie. Well, maybe she... Good evening. Hi. Estamos viendo con quién contamos. Gracias, Rosalie. Thank you. Uh, Guillermo, what about you? Hi, teacher. Hello. Okay, nice. You're there. Thank you. And also here we have uh, Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn. Good evening. Maybe what? Good evening, teacher. Thank you. Good evening. Let's listen now to Andre. Hello, Andre. Good evening, teacher. Okay, good evening. Hello. Thank you for answer, answering. And maybe Maritza is connecting now. Good evening. Hi. Thank you, Maritza. Okay, okay, my friends, uh, as I told you, uh, after this class, después de esta clase, no quedamos libres, ¿verdad? Vamos a tener un par de días para eh, relajarnos un poco. I know some of you maybe are not from San Salvador Department, but uh, the headquarters of English Corporativo is. So it means that we have to complete the instructions. Follow the instruction that says that every department has its holidays. ¿verdad? Cada departamento tiene sus vacaciones, ¿verdad? sus días feriados. So in this case, San Salvador has a couple of days. I don't know where are you from. I mean, where do you live? Because not all of you uh, live in here in, in San Salvador. What about you, Maritza? Where do you live? I live in Metapan. Okay, that's another department. But, okay, good for you because you're going to have yes. a couple of days of vacation. Okay, at least vacations I from... Work la, Santa Ana. La vacación de las clases, no vacaciones de trabajo, ¿verdad? Where are the holidays in, in, in Metapan? Yes. ¿Cuándo son las vacaciones en Metapan? Eh, but I work in Santa Ana. 
the ah, vacation okay. was July 26th. Yeah. The last week, la semana pasada. Last week, mm -hmm. they were. Yes. Así que tuviste libre. Un par de días. No. Eh, when, 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 okay. Good. Thank you. Okay. Um. Let's see. What about uh, Rosalie? Where do you live? In Mexicanos. Live in Mexicanos. Okay. You're part of San Salvador, right? So. Yeah, actually, it is. A... Okay, good for you, Rosalie. And what about, here we have Daniel. Hi, teacher. Okay, where do you live? I uh... live in San Miguel. Okay, in San Miguel. In San Miguel. The holidays are, are in November, October, November. I don't, I don't know. Right. Um... November. November, okay. But the well, there are going to be for a couple of day and nights from the class. Thank you. Uh, Gustavo, what about you, my friend? Where do you live? Hi. Good evening. I live okay. in San Miguel. Okay, similar uh, to Daniel in San Miguel. Okay, thank you. What about here we have uh, Guillermo? Where do you live, Guillermo? I live in Santa Tecla. Okay, nice. Santa Tecla is part, well, actually, Santa Tecla is part of La Libertad, right? It's another department. Yes, it's true. Yeah. Okay, but well, you're going to have a couple of nights. Pretty nice, right, Guillermo? Good for you because you can have some rest, pueden descansar un poco, watch some movies. Yeah, distract a little bit. So that's really positive. Ha caído bien estas vacaciones, these, these holidays, because you're going to have some free time. Okay, nice. Y después seguimos con el curso. En definitiva. David, hello, David. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, uh, I'm asking where do you live? Because we are talking about holidays and here we have August holidays because we, uh, uh, San Salvador's vacations, but I don't know in your case, where do you live? Uh, when I live in the district of San Martin, oh, okay. uh, my vacation, my vacation, not, not vacation. <laughs> you don't have vacation, okay. But no. at least you're going to have vacations from English classes. So you're going to okay. have a couple of nights. Only. Relax. <laughs> yeah, why not? Go yeah. out, treat pupusa with your family, watch some movies, rest, sleep. You can sleep earlier. Puedes dormir más temprano. Of course, yes. why not? Yeah. Thank you, uh, David. What about Andre? Okay, Andre, could you tell me where do you live? Uh, I live in San Salvador. Near oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, you 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 live in the yeah in the center in the urban area. Okay. Thank you. So uh, as I was telling you, some of you live in San Salvador. So maybe it is possible that you're going to have at least one day of vacation on Saturday. I I guess. Um, but the, the other, the rest of the, the participants, uh, because you live or you work in some other department, you're going to continue working. Yeah, that happens. But come on, four nights for you, relax. Pueden pasar más tiempo con su familia. Why not? Okay, let's start. I need to read the name of companies near your workplace okay right the name of okay let's listen to two companies some other enterprises near your workplace i don't know if either is a mall if there is some restaurants supermarkets if shops if there are some others if there if you know some bank okay uh there are different companies 
the, the, the you can find okay write in the in the chat the name of the company okay so we can have and they adjust the name so let's give the number of the company okay I'm going to be waiting Okay, I uh, remember that near our workplace, we have some companies. And if, if you listen, how far is it? ¿Qué tan lejos está? ¿Verdad? ¿Qué tan lejos están esas compañías? Uh, here we have the name of some companies. For example, Andre says Avianca and Sepa. Maritza says Cell Restaurant. Guillermo McDonald's and Starbucks. Rosalie, no one. Rosalie. 
in the desert, in the desert. Okay, no companies, maybe houses, right? Houses or buildings. Uh, Daniel Walmart Club, Aguila, uh, Walmart Club, Aguila, uh, CD. Here we have also Oscar says McDonald's in Agape, Gustavo Texaco Gas Station, Walmart, Rosalie, Puma. Ah, Rosalie, yeah, Puma Gas Station. That's nice. Okay. Select one of these and you tell me how far is it. ¿Qué tan lejos está? One block is una cuadra. Two blocks. Okay. Two cuadras. Three blocks. Eh, tres cuadras. For example, Andre, what about Avianca? How far is it? Avianca from your workplace. Avianca is far one block. Okay, um, thank you. Sepa is approximately 100 meter. Okay, nice. Thank you. And yeah, they, they are kind of uh, near. Maritza, what about uh, the restaurant? How far is it? The, the restaurant is one block. Ah, very, very close. So, lo comiendo, pasa, Maritza. The spell is... Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Um, what about Guillermo, uh, McDonald's or Starbucks? Select one and you tell me how far is it. McDonald's is two blocks to the left side wow. of my company. Okay, are you fed up with McDonald's? Ya te aburriste McDonald's? Uh, I don't like McDonald's. Ah, uh, really? You don't like? Okay. Yeah. That, that, that's nice. Um, I know that when you eat a lot of any product, for example, pizza, if there's a special pizza, I remember I, ha I, I well, that happened to me. Um, I used to eat a lot of pizza, but after one month, I was fed up. Ya estaba como, como, como harto. Fed up es estar hasta acá. So I, uh, I, I'm, I was fed up with the pizza. In the case of Guillermo, you don't, you are not because you don't like it. So, well, that's easy. So, thank you, Guillermo. But you have some other burgers, hamburgers that you prefer, Guillermo. Yes. Okay. Like uh, my burgers. Yeah. Mics are so big burgers, right? Yeah, really yeah. big burgers. <laughs> but good ones, yeah, good ones. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's listen to uh, Daniel and then Gustavo. Okay, Daniel, what about Walmart or maybe Club Aguila? Walmart and Club Aguila, Aguila it's uh, three blocks. Okay, three blocks. It's kind of close. Okay, nice. Um, are you fan uh, of Aguila, Daniel? Not really. Not really. No. Okay, okay. Not for you. Thank you. Uh, Oscar, I guess, is a listener, right? Gustavo and Rosalie. Okay, Gustavo, in your case, uh, here we have Texaco mm -hmm. or Walmart. How far uh, is it? Te Texaco is 500 meters, approximately. Okay, that's nice. You have like a kind of close company. What about uh, Rosalie? Um, the session is... Um, street back with warm up place um, maybe three or four blocks mm -hmm. okay nice yeah not not so far thank you 
And Oscar says, uh, McDonald's is in, in front of my work. Okay, it is close. Okay, what, what happened with McDonald's? It's everywhere. Okay. Um, okay, let's continue with this. I'm going to check the attendance list. We're going in, well, we'll continue with the telephone language and uh, confirming information. We have five options about confirming information and here we have this one number one okay i've got it all down como que ya lo tengo escrito ya lo tengo en papel i've i've got it verdad sería sí. i've got it okay i've got it all down all down okay okay i've got it all down number two let me repeat that just to make sure let me repeat that just to make sure three did you say 555 pit street you say your name was tim right i'll make sure she gets the message i'll make sure she gets the message message Okay, I'm going to check the attendance list. Please say hi, hello, good evening, if you're listening to your name. It is uh, like very important to know uh, how to confirm information when you have a call. Okay. Okay. We're going to start. Adi, Beatriz. No, we don't have Adi. Uh, Christina, I guess. Yes, right? Christy, no, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, let me repeat that just to make sure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And we have also Luisa. We have Ana Luisa. No, uh, Andre. Yes, we have Andre, right? Okay, maybe he can listen to me, Andre. Well, we're going to continue with uh, Rivas. Carlos Rivas, are you here? Sorry, teacher, es que no les escucho bien. Okay. Uh, Andre, right? Sí, teacher, um, tell me. Okay, well, what's your price? Can you repeat, please, to share the question? No, no, cuando yo estoy pasando lista siempre eh, dicen una de las frases que estoy presentando acá en, en la imagen. Ok. Si no, no les... Ajá, ok. Ah, puedes leer una. Entonces, sí. You say your name was Tim, right? Thank you. Uh, Daniel, hello. Present. Ok. Ok, I, I got it all done. Perfect. Uh, David? Let me repeat that just to make sure. Go one. Mm, Evelyn, I don't know if Evelyn's here. I guess she was here a second ago, but I don't know if she's there. Okay, we continue. Guillermo? Okay, Guillermo, hi. Hi, teacher. Hello. I have to say one of these... Uh, sentences please okay i've got it all down thank you john i guess john is a listener okay we go with katia maybe katia um let's listen to maritza please maritza Present. Let me repeat that just to make sure. Thank you. 
Eh, Gustavo. Hi teacher, good evening. Good evening, hi. You, you said your name was in right. Perfect, thank you. Okay, Oscar Daniel, I guess uh, he's not available. Eduardo, I guess, is not available. Present teacher. Thank you, Eduardo. Okay, please, my friend. Read uh, one of these. He, yes, he'll make sure she gets the message. Thank you. Good one. And we go with Rosalie. Present. Uh, say five by five feet straight. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Thank you. Okay. Um, we were talking about this um uh, starting activity. Uh, what places are there in your workplace? How many meeting rooms? Okay. I guess uh, it is important to be clear. What do we have? Uh, like clothes. So in here I have a conversation between Tom and Orson. In this case, they are talking like this. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Orson. I work in Oz. Oh, I know that company. There's an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we are growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? Esta, esta pregunta es importante. Pueden anotarla si gusta. Cuando se pregunta para qué compañía se trabaja. What company do you work for? I work for Echo, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet. Cuando decimos branches, significa eh, como sucursales. Eh, son como, if you have branches, the company, multinational company or transnational company has its branches in every country. Like as we were talking about McDonald's, Coca-Cola, and some other. Okay, so here we have some branches. And in the case of launching, es lanzar. Pero estamos planeando lanzar una en Santa Ana. Okay, puede ser de branches, de sucursales, sedes. Okay, so that's it. If you notice, they are talking about there is. Cuando utilizamos el there is, significa hay. Okay. Significa hay. O oh, ahí está. Cuando decimos there is, es que allí hay algo. O oh, allí está algo. Es por eso que están diciendo, uh, there is an office. Hay una oficina en San Salvador, en el centro de San Salvador, downtown. Okay. So we're going to check this and we're going to practice. Maybe we can have a screenshot. I will appreciate if you help me sending that picture. Thank you, Maritza. So I'm going to assign you. I hope you can connect. Okay, see you in a moment, my friends.
Okay, let's listen some of you. Here we have this conversation. That's very, well, that, that's very simple. And we're going to have, for example, maybe we can have Rosalie and company. Who was your classmate? Rosalie was with Daniel, right? My classmate is Daniel. Hmm? Please, Tom and also, could you? Okay. Thank hey. you. Hmm? Hmm? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm also, I work for Ochi. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we're growing. So there are not many buses in the country yet. Buses in the country yet. Companies, there are few. There are what company are you in the country? That I beside other day. There. Okay. Yes, there is one jet. Thank you. Creo que se me quedó la señal. Y, y, y We're los... planning on launching one in Santana this day. There is an... Pues está bien, está bien. ¿Qué pasó, teacher? Se le dio cortado. Creo. Es que se quedó mi señal y de ahí se escucharon como Alvin en las ardillas. Teacher, como bye, bye. Que está... Hablando así rápido, bien Teacher. extraño. <risa> Lo siento, ¿sí me escuchan? Ok. No lo vemos. Más o menos. Por rato se le ha cortado, Tiche. Ok, ok. Y permítame. Voy a apagar la cámara. Ok, ¿y ahora? ¿Se escucha un poco mejor? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, si terminar, verdad? There is one jet. There is one jet. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Entonces tenemos acá un par de preguntas y dice lo siguiente. Fill in the blanks to complete the following sentences. There is or there are. Cualquiera de las dos opciones. Daniel, hello. Dime. Sí, eh, yo tenía una duda. Eh, parece que nos dio un ejemplo del uso del there, there is, que era referencia a, a ahí. Hay. Sí. Eh, pero la de there are, creo que no, no la vi o no la escuché. Ahorita lo voy a hacer. Ah, ok. Tengamos Thank claro. No problem. Bien, eh, básicamente de, eh, se trata de esto. There is y there are ambos significa hay, pero no hay de dolor, ni de hay, 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 sino que de hay del verbo haber. Entonces, esto se puede entender, se puede entender de esta manera. Cuando queremos decir que hay algo, por ejemplo, que hay una botella, 
por ejemplo, acá hay una botella, ¿verdad? Entonces, there is a bottle, hay una botella. Pero si quiero decir que hay dos botellas, entonces digo, there are two bottles. El punto es el siguiente. Se puede decir ahí o también allí. Cualquiera de las dos palabras. Ahí está o allí está. O puede ser allí están, ¿verdad? Que es el plural. There is singular, there are plural. ¿Ok? Entonces, ese es el significado de there is, there are. Ejemplo, cuando les preguntan qué hay en alguna casa, ¿verdad? Y puede decir, ah, oh, perdón, en, en, un, en un parque. ¿Qué hay en el parque? O sea, este, vamos al parque. ¿Pero qué hay? Hay columbios, hay mesas, hay toboganes, eh, hay canchas. Entonces, estamos diciendo hay, allí hay, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es, se utiliza, um, se le dice determiners, que son los, de, de, los de, de, de determinantes, y lo utilizamos, we use it for expressing what things or objects do we have in a specific place. ¿Qué objetos tenemos en un lugar en específico? ¿Ok? Ya vamos a poner ejemplos de qué tenemos en nuestras oficinas, en nuestro lugar de trabajo, ¿verdad? Y todo eso. Entonces, ese es el punto. Es por eso que cuando acá en la conversación eh, se estaba diciendo que, por ejemplo, acá, déjenme ver. There is an office in San Salvador. Hay una oficina en San Salvador. There are not many branches. No hay muchas sucursales, ¿verdad? Eh, there are few. Hay pocas. There are 25 branches. There are 65. There isn't one yet. Hay uno negativo. No hay un. There is not. O there are not significa no hay. No hay. ¿Verdad? Entonces, ese es el, el, ¿cómo se llama? La explicación en específico, ¿verdad? Está bastante fácil esta estructura, ¿verdad? Pero ya voy a mostrarles un cuadro que les va a ayudar todavía a entenderlo mejor, ¿ok? Así que vamos con lo siguiente. Número one, two, and three. There eh, is or there are not. ¿Verdad? Entonces, ustedes me dicen, dependiendo de cómo se llama, la clave es la siguiente. Si ustedes aquí ven una S, es plural. Si aquí no ven S, es singular. Obviamente, si hay una S, es plural, utilizamos R. Si no hay, utilizamos I. Vamos a ver con Cristi, ¿alguna idea? Number one, two, or three. There is, yes. there are. Number one, mm -hmm. there are three offices in San Salvador. Easy, right? Rosalie? Yes. Number okay. two. Okay, Rosalie de Guillermo. Okay. One store in Suyap. Thank you, Rosalie. Guillermo? There are not any office in the region yet. Yeah, perfect. Entonces, se dan cuenta. Thank you, Guillermo. We have patterns. Seremos patrones en los cuales podemos eh, entender bastante bien cómo funciona todo eso. Ahora, veamos este ejemplo. Si quieren, pueden tomar una captura de pantalla. Esta. Eso es, eh, les puede servir bastante. Ok, entonces tenemos acá. There is and there are. Noten los detalles. There is a table. Bueno, there is a table. El punto con el there are normalmente se escribe en la, el número de cosas. There is a table. Hay una mesa. There are two tables. There, there are two desks. ¿Verdad? En el negativo es como el verbo to be. Miren. Isn't, aren't. 
Y para las preguntas, similar al verbo to be, eh, tocaría ir al inicio. Is there a table? Are there any desks? Respuesta, yes, there is. No, there isn't. Eh, yes, there are. No, there aren't. Si se dan cuenta, if you notice, it is like uh, the sequence is kind of logical. La secuencia es bien lógica. Así que ya que tenemos esto, ya le vamos a dar una revisada para los otros ejercicios que tenemos acá. ¿Ok? Antes que ir a los ejercicios, vamos con lo siguiente. If you could ask God any question, what would it be? Esa es la speaking activity de ahora, ¿verdad? Si le pudieras preguntar a Dios cualquier pregunta o alguna pregunta, ¿cuál sería? ¿Ok? Maybe in this case, we can have some participations. I like to listen mm, Guillermo and then David. Do you have any opinion about this? Maybe any mysterious question, a mystery or something that you would like to know? Mm, I will ask, mm, is there is a possibility to have um, eternal life, something like that. Okay, okay. If, if there is a way to to get that. To, to get that eternal life. And if you notice, uh, it is very irrational because you want to know the information from God, right? A direct information. Because yes. we have religions, we have spiritual um, approaches, and that's I mean, okay. My, my question is, it is possible in, in a good way or in a bad way? Okay. I don't care. Only I want to know if I have to do something to get that. Okay, very interesting. Interesting question. Thank you, uh, Guillermo. Let's listen to David and then Rosalie. Okay, teacher. Uh, I would ask you uh, are we the only ones in the universe? It is a oh. question that only God can know the answer to. Okay, yeah. Okay. If uh, we are if we have more, yeah, uh, types of living, uh, types of other species, why not? I'd like to know that. Sí, me gustaría saber eso. Thank you. Rosalie and Christy. Um, would it be, why do you allow children to suffer? Or for the physical and emotional mm -hmm. and emotional. Okay. Interesting because uh, there are a lot of people that they can give you the answer. People say, "Well, uh, that's not the Bible," or you can notice because, and they give you reasons. But this is very interesting because. You are asking directly to God. Obviously, this is an hypothetical. This is something that is not real. But uh, why do people suffer? Why that negative impact in people's lives? Okay. Why does this, uh, this thing happen to the kids? A, lo a lot of aspects that you can know directly. So, yeah, I agree. Rosalie, thank you. Good question. Uh, we go with Christy and then Daniel. Okay. And uh, my question for that is um, How is heaven? Uh, and the number two, um, forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, uh, it's like one of the biggest uh, questions in life. How is heaven? Okay, because uh, there are 
well, there are some ideas about, yeah, heaven exists or not, but I guess we think, yes, it exists, and we want to know how is it, right? How We have different ideas, but it could be really awesome to know it. Okay, yeah, thank you, Chrissy. Okay, okay. perfect, I like it. And we go, in this case, with uh, Gustavo. We go with Gustavo, and after Gustavo, we're going to listen Luisa. Okay, Gustavo, are you? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Uh, my question will, will be, why are there bad people in the world? Mm -hmm. For example, that, that kills other people for no reason. Okay. Yeah, for no reason. And why do we have, yeah, like bad people, why there exist, yeah, bad people? Uh, because there are some, some ones that they act like a revenge. Hay algunos que están como en venganza. But there are some people which they are, they have really bad feelings, bad intentions, right? So, wow, why? Yeah, interesting. Thank you, Gustavo. Uh, Luisa? Okay. Nice Good question. Evening. Good evening, Luisa. Um, if I could take to cool, it's for asking about my father. I could in my... Uh, him that I miss him here and that it will open and low in the remember this angles and affect you. Okay, yeah. I guess a uh, part of our childhood or our life it's uh, because we love some people and we miss people. Nos hace falta, extrañamos. So, uh, those uh, parts in our life complement and uh, make us what we are. So, yeah, why not ask about a father? Why not uh, uh, ask about the absence of something or someone? Okay, thank you. And we're going to finish this with Maritza. Maritza, do you have your question related to this activity? I would ask him what um I doing wrong that I should stop doing. Okay, if you are doing something wrong, what you should stop doing? Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, like if you are in the correct path, in the correct way. So if you are doing the okay. things correctly or not. In every human needs correction. Not only kids, adults, we as adults, uh, sometimes we do things correctly and sometimes not. So we, we need some correction. And that's part of the growth. It's a part of the crecimiento. Okay? So that's it. Okay. Interesting question. Thank you, Maritza. Well, my friends, we okay. continue with there is and there are. Look at this. And here we have some exercises. There, these exercises are like very simple. How to use the reason there are? Use the reason there are to state that something exists para establecer que algo existe. Okay, we use there is for singular nouns and there are for plural nouns and add not after be to create negative form, okay? Let's listen, hear some of you. Maybe uh, we can have some of you. And can we have Maritza? Let's listen the singular, please. Would you read it? And then Chris will put it. Okay. There is one not a store the city. Thank you. Christy, please let's go with the plural. Okay. 
There are three distribution centers in Iloanto. There are not many places to have a meeting. Okay. Thank you, Christy. So if you notice here, uh, the instruction says, find the mistake and correct it. Okay. Encuentra el error y corrígelo. Okay. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. So we can uh, check if those sentences are okay, if they are right, or if they need correction. If they are wrong, we're going to correct them. Couple of seconds to check it. Okay, what about volunteers to correct this? Uh, I guess we have to correct some of these sentences. We're going to start with Guillermo and then David. Okay, Guillermo, tell me, my friend, what number? Number one. Yeah. There are two branches in El Salvador. Okay, yeah. Because it's plural. So that's correct. Mm hmm. There are two branches in Salvador, so East is there. Mister, like, thank you. Uh, we we'll go with David and Christy. Mm, David. Number three, teacher. There okay. are a new. Number three, teacher. Okay. There is. There are a new topic. Ok, en este caso podría ser así, similar, solo que en lugar de A, porque estamos diciendo there are new offices, hay nuevas oficinas, o la podemos hacer singular, there is a new office, pero en este caso la letra S no se, no se escribiría, there is a new office, o there are new offices, como tú mencionabas el R, pero en, si es R no lleva A. Thank you. Uh, Christy, please. Okay. The sentence is number four. Mm -hmm. uh, there are not material to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are not materials to work. Perfect, thank you. Uh, maybe we can listen this time to if we you have... me. Okay, Luisa. And then Evelyn. Uh, the five. Number five. Okay, there is there are not mm -hmm. three books in the lobby. Okay. Yeah, there are not three boxes in the lobby. Thank you. Evelyn, could you help me with number two, if possible? Mm 
Okay, I'm sorry, Evelyn, uh, but let's uh, try number two. There is are no are all facilities available. Okay, eh, estás correcta con el is. There is one facility available. Okay. Mm. Así sería. O oh, there are facilities available. Pero así está bien. Thank you. There is one facility available. Yeah, that's correct. So thank you. If you notice, it is not that difficult to check um, singular and plural because it is easy to, to see. Es fácil de ver. Especialmente como yo les decía, los patrones, ¿verdad? Si llevo una S, normalmente pues, eh, va a ser va a ser plural. Ok, um, let's complete this. Getting pairs and prepare a two-minute conversation with companies, tell the companies locations. Ok, eh, we are not going to have a conversation. No vamos a hacer la conversación, but, but we're going to do things. Eh, vamos a trabajar en equipo, pero lo vamos a hacer de esa manera. In my work place there in my workplace y vamos a hacer lo siguiente a escribir there is there is y luego there are there are entonces hagamos algo práctico utilicemos el there is Mencionen dos cosas en singular y dos cosas en plural de los que tienen. Ejemplo, Cristina is working with Maritza. Un ejemplo. Entonces, Cristina le dice, in my workplace there is a computer, there is a printer, and there are chairs, and there are cars. Entonces, esas cuatro oraciones, Maritza las anota. Cuando regresemos, vamos a trabajar con lo que le dijo su compañero o su compañera. ¿Ok? So you have to share what objects or things are in your workplace. Offices, rooms, employees. Uh, pueden, en el plural, si quieren pueden escribir el número o no. Por ejemplo, there are uh, digital printers. Entonces yo no estoy diciendo cuántas impresoras hay. I'm just mentioning that there are. En lugar de digital printers, puede decir um, trucks, camiones. Ok, so that's it. Remember, two sentences in affirmative, eh, I'm sorry, in singular and two in plural. Dos singular y dos plural. In my workplace, there is y comienzo. Ok, share that with your classmates y después regresamos. Ok, very simple. No se compliquen. Cosas prácticas. Ok, uh, let's work. Let's see if we continue working. Ok, my friends, see you in a moment.
Ok, Katia, no sé si está disponible o Eduardo, I don't know. John. Sí, teacher, yo estoy de oyente. Ok, no puede participar en el grupo por el momento, Eduardo. Está ocupado. Sí, sí, me, me voy a agregar ahorita. Al 4, thank you. Sí, sí. Sí, ahorita estoy viendo la, la invitación.
Ok, my friend, we're going to do something very simple. Eh, vamos a escribir lo siguiente. In Rosalie's workplace, estoy diciendo que en el lugar de trabajo de Rosalie, Rosalie, hay y detallo. Puedo decir, in Evelyn's workplace, in Cristina's workplace, in Guillermo's workplace, in Daniel's workplace, y así sucesivamente en el chat. Ok. Um, I need you to do this. And it is important to text. Super importante. De escribir. Writing. Ok. Eh, así que vamos a utilizar el possessive, ¿verdad? In Anna's workplace, in David's workplace, in Maritza's workplace. Y detallen lo que eh, tienen, ¿verdad? What your partner shared to you. Very nice. Uh, we have a lot of answers. And we're going to start with Guillermo. And then Rosalie. Okay, Guillermo, please could you mention um, Maritza's uh, description? And just teacher, in Maritza's workplace, there is a, a printer, there is a store, there are many cars, there are nine desks. Wow. Thank you. Uh, Rosalie, you go, and then Gustavo. Okay, teacher. In Daniel's workplace, there is one car, there is an office, there are six cars, there are two managers. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Gustavo and Maritza. Okay, okay, teacher. In, in David's workplace, uh, there is a printer, there is a desk, there are computer, computer, there are cars. Perfect, thank you. Maritza and David. In Guillermo's workplace, there is a cinema, there is a coffee maker, there are guards, and there are trees. Thank you. Um, David and Daniel. Okay, teacher. In Noah's workplace, 
there is a form, there is a table, there are uh, five pages, there are many construction problems. Muy bien, solo que sería, there are many construction products. La S al final. Es lo único, de ahí está bien. Thank you. Eh, Daniel, you go, and then Christy. Okay. Uh, in Rosalie's workplace, there is one printer, there is one AT ATM, there are many computers, there are telephones. There are telephones. Perfect. Uh, Christy and then Andre. Okay. In Daniel's workplace, there is a dining room. There is a forklift. Our teacher, um, Montacargas. Uh -huh. Forklift. Sí, okay. Bien. There are four trucks. There, and there are four offices. Offices, yeah. Thank you, well done. Andre, could you read uh, the description, please? Okay. Uh, in my world, uh, there is a CEO. In my world, there is an aircraft B767. In my world, there are six hangars. In my world, there are many aircraft. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Well, we continue uh, with uh, this same structure, but we're going to have here is the same speaking activity we were uh, Asking if you ask if you could ask God any question, what would it be? In this case, uh, maybe we can have Andre and then Daniel. Andre, do you have your answer for this question? Do you have any opinion? Uh, opinion uh, with Daniel? No, with no, respect. no. The speaking activity. If you could. Ask God any question, what would it be? Lo de la actividad oral. Ah, ok. Teacher, no, la actividad oral si no la hice. La verdad, hoy estuve okay. muy ocupado. Y... Ok, vamos con Daniel. Sí. Ok. Ok. Uh, if I could ask God any question, um... The, the question is because David, David, did many bad things. He is mentioned as a radio song. Okay. Okay. Thank you. We go with Evelyn and Eduardo, if possible, to finish this activity. Okay, Evelyn, I don't know if Evelyn is available. Okay, thank you. Uh, in my workplace, in my workplace, uh, in my in my workplace in uh, Louisa, there is a simple table. There is a coffee marker. There are two parking space. There are three meeting rooms. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> y con respecto al speaking activity, Evelyn, tienes la pregunta. If you could ask okay. God any question. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where is his so cold? With everyone, no matter all about they are. Okay, thank you. A very interesting question, Eduardo. I don't know if you are ready to to share with the speaking activity. Okay, if not, we continue. <clears throat> 
because just 22 minutes and we are out. Bien, con respecto a la canción, vamos a ver a quién le correspondía. Me parece David. A ti te tocaba, ¿verdad, David? ¿Será? No. Me estuve en la clase anterior, teacher. No, no, no me preparé. Ok. ¿A quién le había comentado? Déjame ver. Guillermo. Sí. Guillermo. Guillermo dice, ya le pusieron el dedo al pobre Guillermo. Ok, Guillermo. <risa> Are you, are you okay, Guillermo? I don't know if you're ready. No, teacher, I am not ready. Okay. <laughs> okay, for, for next Monday, for the other lunes, yeah? Yeah. Okay, that's nice. Next Monday after vacation. And let's continue. Here we have one worksheet. Tengo una hoja de trabajo something that we're going to complete. Remember, here we have there is, okay? Uh, affirmative or positive, negative and questions. Tenemos dudas con respecto a eso. Questions about this grammar structure. I guess it is quite simple. I guess it is not that complicated, right? So, let's move to this. Vamos a ir a esta. But let me check. No. I'm going to present it. It's a picture. Let me show you. Okay. Um, okay. And what do we have here is that we have to say true or false. And we have 10 sentences. In these sentences, there is a description about this picture. Look at this picture, please. Look the objects. Look the people. Look articles. Look the room. Um, we have 10 sentences uh, explaining there is blah, blah, blah. There are blah, blah, blah. So we're going to say true or false. Okay, take a look at this. And then we, okay. Now, here we have this. I don't know if you can see it. No sé si Tristy se puede leer o está muy borroso. Leer, sí, teacher. La imagen, okay. si son cosas pequeñitas, no, no se miran completo. Sometimes I'm going to do this, okay? To check mm -hmm. it. So we're going to, okay, here we have 10 sentences. Uh, you tell me if you want to uh, start with some. Raise your hand, remember, as an emoji, come up or raise your hand, and uh, we're going to com com start. Okay, here we have Christy, right? What number, Christy? Yes, and the number one is mm -hmm. false. Could you read it, uh, please? There are six people in the picture. Okay, and yeah, the sentence says there are seven, right? Yes. Uh -huh, but that's not true. That's false. Okay, because here we have seven, uh, six people, right? Six people, yes. Thank you. Okay, Rosalie. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Number uh, two. Uh, number two. There is a cat on a chair. Is yeah. true. Okay, there is a cat on a chair. Okay, but uh, maybe here we can have a a detail. This is a chair, okay? It's false. It's yeah, a sofa. Uh, yeah, because a sofa. I know because we associate, lo asociamos, okay? Chair, but yeah, a sofa. So in this case, number two, it's false, definitely. Thank you. Uh, we go with David. Number six, teacher. Yeah. There is a small 
chair in front of the coffee table. Mm -hmm. True. Okay, practical, true. Yeah, we can see the same chair that we were talking with uh, Rosalie, right? Thank you. Uh, who else? Maybe uh, Maritza? Luisa? Number five. Number five, okay. There are some books under the coffee table. What do you think? True. Okay, definitely true. Here you can see some books under the coffee table. Okay, Luisa and then Andre. Okay, Luisa, you tell me. Okay, teacher. Uh, seven? Yeah, seven. There aren't any children in the living room. It's mm -hmm. false. Okay, false. Yeah, it's false because they say false. no children, any children. And here we have a baby, right? Here we have a baby, so definitely it's false. Okay, Andre, uh, are you ready with your sentence? And then Daniel. Okay. There is a woman, the third teacher. There is okay. a woman standing behind a sofa. Okay, what do you think? It's true or false? Yeah, true. definitely it's true. Here we can see uh, that uh, woman is watching the baby. Yeah, standing. That's true. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, yeah. Um Daniel and then we go with uh Gustavo. The the number four. Okay. There are any, there aren't any cups on the table. It's what do you think? false. False because we can notice one, two, three, maybe, okay, or more. Thank you. Okay, uh who else? Maybe Okay, teacher. Gustavo and, and Guillermo, okay? Uh, the number eight. Number eight. There are some flowers in front of, of uh, men. Mm -hmm. uh, it's false. False, because the flowers, it's uh, behind. Behind. In front. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Uh, Guillermo, please, if possible. Okay, um, there is a fan in the picture. Mm -hmm. What do you think? A fan. Fan ventilador. Mm. Can you repeat the, the meaning of fan? Fan is ventilador. Ah. Mm -hmm. There is a fan, yes. Yeah, yeah. You see, it's, it's behind a of the man. Yeah, it's a ceiling fan. See, the, the, the techo. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I know it's that true. fan. Uh, yeah, it's true. Maybe we we may confuse the word fan with a fanatic, like fan of of a specific singer or actor, actress. But yeah, fan actually, it's uh, well. It's that, right? That machine for wind flow. That it's a uh, Yep. Hello. Teacher. Hola, sí, dime. Entonces, entonces, fan es solamente ventilador o es ventilador de techo? No, fan es ventilador de cualquiera. Ah, ok. Cualquier, okay. cualquier okay. tipo. La diferencia, eh, hay otras, por ejemplo... Tenemos clock y tenemos watch, ¿verdad? Watch es de mano, clock es de pared. Pero fan es en general. En ese caso se puede decir ceiling fan, que es un, un, un fan de, es un ventilador de techo, ¿verdad? Ah, Pero normalmente oh. fan es fan, ¿verdad? Ok, so that's it. Ok, and maybe to finish. Maritza, tú me colaboraste, ni me acuerdo, ¿verdad? Está esta ojeadita. Yes, number five. Bueno, number five. Okay, hasta no, hasta el número me dijiste. Okay, maybe we can have this case, Evelyn. Could you help me with number ten? Mm. There is a small dog next to a chair. Mm -hmm. What do you think? False. False. Yeah, false. There is no dog in the picture maybe there is a cat but no we don't have any dog okay 
Look at this, easy peasy. This is a very simple structure. I know that you're not going to have problems with the homework in the platforms related to their is and their are, okay? And to finish, here we have this. Talk about, okay, 11 minutes, 11 minutes y terminamos. Talk about how to stay healthy. I don't know if you consider you stay healthy. ¿Cómo te mantienes saludable? Um, maybe you have good habits or bad habits. I don't know if you practice sport, if you eat healthy, if you do some exercise, or you walk. Yeah, it depends. There, there are a lot of things. I'm not talking about going to work out at the gym. No se trata de ejercitarse, okay? I'm not, I'm not saying uh, just like this. We have different aspects. For example, sleeping. Uh, for example, the, the, the talking about smoke. I don't know, the traffic. Good and bad things, okay? We're going to start uh, this time with David and Gustavo. Okay, David, do you have an idea how you stay healthy? Okay, teacher, uh, I, I don't, uh, no entendí muy bien la, la, si era saludable de, de todo, pero mi opinión es la siguiente. Sí, saludable eh, en general. Eh, okay, okay. Eh, I want to give an, an, an opinion. I, I believe that we can also have visual health. Yes, not of course. Exposing, not exposing our eyes to mouse TV, computer, or cell phone unnecessarily. Yeah. Yeah. Healthy. In this way, the health will be longer. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, visual uh, health is so important. If we don't take care about it. No, 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 no le damos tanta importancia. So, at the end, we need glasses and we need a different mm -hmm. uh, level of, 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 yeah, of complications related to our eyes. Yeah, we have to take care. Even I need glasses, at least for computers and working on this. Imagine something like that. so simple. Thank you. Uh, Gustavo, and then we go with Christy. Okay, DJ. In my case, I like to work, do do a little e exercise. It's a a healthy, healthy. It's a healthy habit. Uh, so un hábito saludable. Yes. Okay. You you love you like to work. Thank you, uh, Christine Guillermo. Okay, teacher. Um, I exercise three times a week. A week. Um, yes. I just go to the gym and I run or uh, sometimes walk and try eat healthy. Uh, no yet to angry. I am angry. <laughs> okay. Once, uh, once every six months, I have a message. A message. Mm, yeah, so important. Um, and my um, forma de pensar, no sé, o mi lema. Uh, no sé cómo point of view. Point of view or way of thinking. But point. Okay. Point of view uh, is one day at a time. Definitely. Um, you said something about message. So that's so important because we are really stressed. We are tense. And remember, your body tells you that something is not is not good. You have you have accumulated bad energy, negative energy. Yeah. That's that's so helpful. I can say yes. Helpful. Thank you, Christy. Good opinion. Guillermo and Maritza. Mm, I think uh, it, it is important to drink a lot of water, yeah. you know, all the day. 
and also uh, eat in a healthy way. You have to try to not eat too much uh, junk food. Um, what else? Uh, sleep around seven hours per day. It's difficult, but but not impossible. Not impossible. Yeah, I mean sometimes it's difficult for uh, if you work a lot, if you study a lot, and so many things that um, that you can do in the day, but. It's important that you pay attention to the details. I mean, if you if you see that you don't don't eat in the correct way, you have to try it. to change that. Okay, to 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 change yes. to have good habits. I, uh, yes, I remember that I. In the past, I always get sick um, de gripe o alergias. Okay. Pero era por el cambio de clima. The weather. Y mm. The weather. Porque en el trabajo estaba como muy helado y luego el calor. ¿verdad? Yeah, that changed your Entonces, body reacts. There's a reaction in your body. Because of that. Sí. Entonces, por ejemplo, este año ya llevo, ya voy para ocho meses que no me he enfermado para nada. Good. Good. Y para mí eso es una ganancia It's full. It's a full, victory, full porque... come on. Sí, para mí es lo mejor porque me enfermaba súper, súper heavy. Yeah. O sea, me escapaba a morir cada vez que me daba algo así. Y... I know, and it is, the flu, it's so, I don't know, it feels you down. Te pone low battery, te pone así como que, you don't want to do anything. Cuerpo... Mi cuerpo se resintió a un nivel que yo no puedo toser tan fuerte porque me duele, me duele el pecho. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Llegar a eso no se lo deseo a nadie. Oh, come on. Pero yo lo que hago, pues prácticamente aunque se burlen de mí, yo salgo del trabajo y aunque esté haciendo un calor, yo me voy con suéter a mi casa yeah. para que mi cuerpo se vaya aclimatando. Aclimatando. Uh, remember your body has been in contact with uh, like a freezing weather. In that yes. change, yeah, even I know outside it's so hot. It, these days are, has been really hot. But yeah, yeah, you have to take care of your lungs and, well, internally your body. Yeah, congratulations, Guillermo. Yeah, keep on doing that, my friend. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And we, we can have now uh, Maritza, right? Maritza and Daniel. In my case, uh, good nutrition. Sometimes I do exercise and learning other skills. Mm -hmm. That's it. If you can attend to the nutritionist, of course you can do it, I guess. It is not just for the people who are overweight or they have problems, uh, but in general, sometimes our diet is not so healthy. The menu that we have at home, right? It is like uh, not not so good. So good for you, Maritza. I like it. Sounds really good. Um, what about Daniel? And after Daniel, we go with Eduardo. In my case, to have healthy, I uh, get exercise and uh, eat food like vegetables. Mm -hmm. Yeah, vegetables, so important. All of them, all of them are so nutritive. Uh, nice. Let's listen to who else to finish? Eduardo and Evelyn. Yes, nice teacher. Okay, Eduardo, do you have some comments about this? Yeah, well, in my case, to I do, I try to eat uh, things uh, healthy, 
Okay. I yeah. don't. I try to. I try don't don't drink soda. Don't eat. Uh, pan dulce, como se dice. Uh, sweet bread. Yeah. So sweet bakery. Bread, yes. Yeah, all of those with, things. So yes. delicious, but yeah, are really negative. Yes. It is sick, but in my case, my family is uh is frequently to have a diabetic and okay. I try to eat all things to, yeah, to have sugar to, or many you have sugar. To avoid the sugar in different uh, products, okay? Uh, like, yeah, bread and also juices, a lot of products. Yeah. Okay, thank you. See, uh, all the juices and drinks. Drinks, yeah, that's it. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Laura. So be careful with that. Keep on doing that, my friend. I don't know okay. if uh, we have Evelyn. I guess, Evelyn, you exercise, right, Evelyn? Yeah. Okay. Go to the gym frequently. Yeah. I think I'm sleeping well. Mm -hmm. mm, definitely it is. Yeah, eating and sleeping well, definitely. Okay, my friends, it's time to say goodbye. In this case, uh, yeah. Janet, hola. Okay. Uh, uh, don't get okay. angry or stressed. Okay, yeah. We have to manage our emotions and have las emociones. Sí. Don't worry, be happy. Yeah, that's the that's the mantra. Así debe de ser el mantra, ¿verdad? Don't worry, be happy. Try to avoid all the negative aspects in life. And in this case, maybe we can have Andre. ¿Te puedes quedar en un par de minutos después de la clase? Eh, tú me dices si sí, puedes. Okay. Si no, el resto eh, necesito que me ponga pulgar arriba en el chat. Así paso lista, ¿ok? Como siempre. Thumb up, pulgar arriba, porque se nos acabó el tiempo. Eh, desde mañana tienen libre, ¿verdad? Aprovechenlo. Nos vemos hasta el otro lunes. Cualquier cosa, el otro lunes yo les envío la speaking activity para que ustedes ya sepan pues, que, que, que nos tenemos que preparar. Descansen, aprovechen el tiempo, relájense, traten de, aunque sé que estaban a trabajar ustedes, pero okay, distract, distraigan. Have a good night, my friend. Descansen. Bye bye. bye. Good evening. Good night, See you. Good night, everybody. Thank you, Good teacher. Night. Good night. You're welcome, my friend. Bye bye. Teacher, ¿Sí? ¿será posible que me pueda compartir de nuevo el enlace de la plataforma? El enlace de la plataforma, ok. Del ver. curso, ¿no? Déjame ver. Si lo tengo por acá. Eh, Ahí, al chat del grupo. Sí, sí, quiero ver. Sí, es que se envió al inicio, me parece. Eh, ya te digo. Sí, eh, no has podido acceder a la plataforma. Hola. Sí, como no, empecé a hacer las tres tareas, he hecho nada más. Sí, teacher, empecé a hacer las tres tareas. Las primeras tres tareas. Tengo pendiente la dos y la de ahora. Ok. ¿Y en el correo no te ha llegado esa información? Mm, no, no, no has captado. No he revisado, fíjese, teacher. Me... Bueno, ya, no, ya de, te lo voy. Del, del, del correo no. Ahí mm. en el grupo, yo, yo ahí la, la, la ocupo. Ahí yo la ocupo. Right. Okay. ok, excelente. Gracias. Bye, bye. Hasta feliz noche. Cuídate. Bye, bye. Gracias.